Hi everyone, and welcome to this Friday's tutorial, where we are going to draw a Japanese or Siamese fighting fish. And what I did for you is I made a setup sketch, and this is uploaded on my Patreon page. When you watch carefully, uh, the fish is fitted within uh, 22 centimeters by 14 centimeters then you divide your area in two and then the eye is exactly on this middle line and then three centimeters from the middle line so you immediately know where you have to start the eye and then build your fish around it and the right side of the drawing is the biggest part of where the fish will be and then we will go downwards to the left side to create that amazing tail and fins and all the colors so should you want to support me on my patreon page please do and what I'm using for this sketch is the Ken Song Me Tintus and that's a pastel paper very nice indeed and I will be drawing with my magic pencils sponsored by Koinor and Korea Art my local shop but if you don't have them you can also use your standard color pencils of course and what I did is and here you see a pre-study is I put in an underlayer of a white pastel and white color pencil. Pastel pencil is chalky and dry. Color pencil is greasy. I combine these and then I go over it with my magic pencils and create some amazing effects. So let's get started on this beautiful animal so let's get started as you can see i've drawn out my little help lines and i will be starting with the white color pencil and the white pastel pencil now because i've drawn out first uh, the setting for the eye which is three centimeters from the center it is very easy for me to get started. I will build up my fish from that eye. And the setup is done completely with the white color pencil and the white pastel pencil. Uh, for which the white pastel pencil will be used for the very highest highlights on my CMA's fighting fish. Here you can see the line of the back and as you keep notice all my lines will be drawn as smooth and as flowing as possible. So no angles there just smooth lines because this fish is a floating in an aquarium and what I also take notice of is that the light is coming from the top so here for instance uh, on the back of that fish I can draw out those tiny scales and these are all underlayment pigments that I need for when I start to draw with the magic pencils for those parts that are lightest I press extra hard on my color pencil for the parts that uh, gradually fade away in the deep or way in the back I press a little bit softer so I get various uh, gradations of white here I draw in a little bit of the side fin and as you can see on top of that fin there is the most of light 
so I put in quite a lot of white pigments. Here we're in the back, I press softer. Now here will come the tip of the tail that catches a lot of light. Now this is the point where I start using the white pastel. As you can see, the white pastel is even brighter than the white color pencil. The color pencil basic is grease, while the pastel pencil, of course, is a dry medium. Now you can always go over dry media with greasy color pencils. And the white of the pastel and those pigments will make some parts extra, extra light. Here you can see the fins the, of the tail that are going uh, down in the deepness and some fins that are way in the back. And this gives it, well, some kind of 3D perspective. Here that side fin catches a lot of light. So here I'm using the white pastel again. Then it's time for the blender stick. There's an extra reason why I used the white pastel. And that is because it is blended out very nicely. I can use it for the fins that disappear down in the deep. And I rub it in real good into my paper. That is that special layer that I was talking about, that under layer for the magic pencils. By the way, this will also work with your standard color pencils. The blended white, as you can see, together with the black and some creates some kind of bluish gray. I love that very much for the effect of a fish floating in an aquarium. Here on top of the tail I add in an extra bit more of a white pastel there where it still gets grip on the paper. And this is where the body bends. So the left side of the body will be, well, kind of uh, blurring out in the shadow. This top tail is the most important part. And as you can see in my composition, my fish is looking towards that tail. So I carefully chose this composition. Now it is time to get some coloring. I've picked up number 13 from my pencil kit. This Siamese fighting fish I want to color in in different kinds of blue. But maybe you know them. They are extraordinary, beautiful fish. But also, also they come in a variety of endless colors. So if you are drawing along to draw this fish, I would suggest you make more of these and try out some different colors and see what that does using that underlayment of white. This is my pencil number 15. It's a darker blue and I use that for the shadow side of 
my fish. You can now start to see what I mean with using different kinds of blue. It creates more perspective and more 3D effect. Also, it brings out the shine of the fish. Here, I put it over the scales, but I also use it here for those parts of that thin tail that is kind of in the shadow. Now I get great contrast between the highlights on top of the fish and on the tail and the shadowy darker blue parts. This is another Koinor magic pencil and this one contains white, red and blue. It's not in the box of 24 but you can buy them separately. I wanted to try it out because it has contradicting colors inside the lead and I was just curious what it would do. It is kind of a surprise what it will do because of those contradicting colors. But I'm not afraid and I just try it out. Because these, well, these beta splendens, as they are called, come in so many colors, I do not have to worry about, uh, okay, does it look like uh, that and that kind of a fish? It doesn't matter because the variety is enormous. I also use this pencil in the side fin in the tail, on the head a little bit, just blending everything together and should there be parts that need lighting up again then of course you can simply go over this with the white color pencil. Here I'm making the eye pop out a little bit more putting in a little bit of color for the side fin and of course you can always blend it out again a little bit. I want some more highlights here in the tail and as you can see it appears like they are flowing together and, and going through each other and that's what I love about giving those highlights up and then making it appear like this part of the tail is coming forwards toward us. Then I pick my brown color pencil to get some little bit of um, uh, well, brown in the head to make that head stand out more from the rest of the body. And then, well, put in some highlights here and there. But I think this came out quite amazing. Now, if you enjoyed this video, please give it a big thumbs up, share it with your friends and don't forget to subscribe. Maybe you can check out my Patreon page and support me there. But whatever you do, I will see you again next Friday.